Yo, what's going on guys? It's Daniel. Uh, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be ranking every location in Fortnite Chapter 3 from worst to best. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video and turn the post notification bell on so you never miss a video stream here on my channel. And anyways, let's just get straight into it. So coming at number 14, in my opinion, the worst location in Chapter 3, it, it's going to be um, Camp Cuddle. Now, Camp Cuddle, I barely even landed at this chapter. I don't really like this location too much. It's so much a POI is bad, but I mean, at the same time, it's far away, and I just feel like there's way more other interesting locations to land at. I never really land here. The only time I, I really land here or visit this area is for a challenge or from rotating, rotating there. But really, I just don't like the POI. The POI is not bad. Actually, none of these POIs on this list are awful. But, yeah, I didn't, I don't really like, um, Camp Cuddle. Um, hopefully they do change it at some point. With that being said, though, coming at number 13, uh, this is the only other POI that I also don't like, which is the Joneses. The Joneses, um, the reason it's going to get a higher ranking than Camp Cuddle for me, is at least it's got, like, an interesting, at least it's got some kind of interesting theme to it, you know, around, like, Jonesy and stuff, I guess. But again, both of these locations are very far out the way. No one lands. They're not really that interesting. And both of these aren't really my type of locations. Don't hate them, but these are actually the only two locations on this list that I don't like, actually. The rest are really good. It's just these two locations I don't like. I feel like Epic the Chapter's done a really good job of um, not making much bad POI. And even coming at number 12, the third rank lowest location, third lowest location, but this is one I actually still like, and it's Shifty Shafts. So, Shifty Shafts is obviously, was one of those locations obviously returned this chapter along with Greasy Grove and Tilted Towers. Even though this location is only at number 12, I still think it's a good POI to land at. I mean, yes, it's quite small and stuff, but yeah, the POI actually is pretty cool. Um, it feels like a bit more interesting than the chapter 1 version, and uh, uh, this time it's actually, you know, doesn't look abandoned, and, yeah, it, it's an okay POI, um, this is, this is one that actually, this is the first POI that's actually quite like, but it's just nothing special, unlike some of the other locations. Or, oh, one, another bonus point I'll give to is at least it's a little bit more central than some other locations on the list. Such as, like, some other locations, such as, like, obviously, I guess, Cap Cuddle or Logjam Lumber Yard, or, I guess, or... But, yeah, it's an alright location, but coming at number 11, it's going to be the Daily Bugle. Now, in my opinion, this POI, it, it's, it's okay, but... Again, this is only slightly better than Shifty Shafts. I, I know this is meant to be a clap POI, but the reason why I don't... The reason this is getting quite a low, fairly low ranking is mainly because, like, not many people go there. The location looks cool, man. It's Spider-Man Club, but, like, I just don't see much people go there. And I definitely can... I definitely can see that they're going to remove it next season because, I mean, it is a collab POI. So, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to take it out when Season 2 releases. I mean, the way the POI is cool, and but again, just not people land there. It's just I feel it feels not very fun to drop. Um, but yeah, it's still a good location, but just I think the rest of the locations on this map are even better. Coming at number ten, it's going to be Rocky Reels. So Rocky Reels is obviously one of the locations in the desert. This is the lowest ranked location out of all the desert POIs, in my opinion. It's still good. But I feel like it's the worst of the desert locations. My main reason being it is it's just a new version of Risky Reels. And Chunk of Speedway and Condor Canyon will get into later. They're obviously like completely new. But Rocky Reels just feels very similar to Risky Reels. Which is nice that we have it back. But I mean we've seen Risky Reels quite a bit now. And Rocky Reels just feels quite similar. So that's the main reason I was getting number 10. But I still actually like this location as well. It's fairly central as well, it's actually it's actually not too far out the way, like for example you could just land there, loot up and rotate into Tilted, and you might be able to pick off some people there. Good, that's actually a decent um, like rotation strat, but I do think though, that 
this is probably the worst of the desert locations. Still though, I like the location. And plus, it's, yeah, again, it's fairly central as well. All right, coming in at number nine, this is going to be Coney Crossroads. So Coney Crossroads, I think, is one of the more central locations on this map. And yeah, I can see it's very, I think it's quite popular, just like Salty Springs was, but it's better. At least it's a little bit larger. My only thing I don't like about this POI is because of it, you know, in, in, I think it just could be a little bit bigger. I mean, if it was far out of the way, it'd probably be lower, but at least because it's central, I did pull up to number nine. I don't actually mind this POI, even though, it, yes, it, I think it is so popular. I still think this location is pretty good. Um, but still, I, I feel like it doesn't be any of the other locations we're going to rank. Anyway, coming in at number eight, it is going to be... Um, Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove is obviously one of those locations that has obviously returned to Chapter 3. And yeah, this top 8 is very hard, but if I had to say which one's the worst, it'd have to be Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove is a really good POI. I do quite like it. I hope it stays next season. This this, this, this top 8 literally, I feel, feels so far above the rest. This is ridiculous. But yeah, Greasy Grove is the first, like, really, really good POI. I do love it, um, but... I just feel like out of the next, out of the next seven locations, out of, the, out of this, out of this location, I know the next seven is probably the worst. But again, it's quite good. You can just land there, rotate into tilted, and get some kills. But again, I just feel like it's just not as good as the next seven locations I'm going to go through. And that takes me onto my number seven spot, which is um, Tonkers Speedway. So Chonkers Speedway is another location that's located obviously in the desert biome. This POI I do actually quite like. It gives me a lot of vibes from the Chapter 1 racetrack. Remember, but just even better. It's nice that it actually had it's got its own POI. Uh, one thing I, the one reason one thing I do really love about this location is you can get a guaranteed car spawn every game. And also, if you're in Battle Lab, it's very fun to, to you know play about in there. You can just race with your friends and stuff. See, not only is it cool, good as a POI, you can also, I guess if you're playing again in Battle Lab, you can just mess around in there with your friends and the cars and stuff. So yeah, even if you're not in the zone of Chunker Speedway, you can get, a, a, I think, a guaranteed car spawn, and that's really adds a bonus to this location. That's what I really do like about this POI. Um, I said, not the best loot. I mean, I don't, but again, the fact that it's got bonus cars, like, like I said, the fact it's got guaranteed car spawn does make it even better for me, in my opinion. And yeah, that's getting number seven. Alright, with that being said, though, coming in at number six, we have got um, Logjam Lumberyard. So, Logjam Lumberyard is obviously in the northwestern corner up in the snow biome. And this POI is so good. The reason why... The, now, obviously, the POI might not seem too good in self on loot and quite small, but the thing that makes the POI so good is, like, you know, you've got guaranteed wood. Like wood. You can get guaranteed 999 mats, 999 mats every game, for obviously, for wood. So if, if you want, if you want like, guaranteed mats every game, that's the location to go. And that's what I really like. That's like, like, that location's good in, really good in the arena if you just want to get mats quickly. Plus, I think it's also close to that guaranteed llama spawn. Um, hopefully, that will be the next season, but I don't know. But yeah, Logjam Lumberyard, not the best. It's obviously not the best in terms of like loot, but I'm pretty sure. But it's definitely good with the mats. Like, you can probably get guaranteed wood every game, like 999 wood. I bet yeah. Hope it, I, ha I hope it stays for a while. This POI is really good. My only issue is is just there's just not too much loot there compared to other POIs, but. The extra mats really does make this POI more OP, and I do quite like it. Feels underrated in my opinion. Now, number five, this is going to be Condo Canyon. Condo Canyon really reminds me a lot of Paradise Palms, but as in, but it feels like new at the same time. So this location is obviously like Paradise. This location is actually split into two sections. Same as Sleepy Sand, which we'll get into in a bit. Like so you got like the houses in like one section. You've got the other birds in another section, so 
this can be a good or bad thing. Being, the fact that they're being really like, spread out like two different sections, like let's say for example, a bunch of people landing on one side, you can land on the other bit and stuff. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I, this PR is very large and honestly, this good location's probably got one of the best loot, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if you if you really want to get, if you, like I said, this location is a good squad drop in my opinion. Yeah, you can probably all get, you can probably all, sing, all, all of you, you can probably all get solo loot each. I imagine, and yeah, that's what I like about Condor Canyon. At least it feels like Paradise, like a new version of Paradise Palms, but it does also actually feel like a new location. And that, and the, the fact, I like how it's just split into two sections, so that, again, like I said, if you happen to be very far, or sort of, no, if someone happens to be, um, what is it, if someone happens to, if some people land to happen on one side, you can land on the other, so you have time to loot up and stuff. I just, I just like Condor Canyon, it's just really reminds me of Paradise, I love Paradise, and Sway Sands, it just takes it them two to another level. But, coming in at number four, this is going to be the Sanctuary. So the Sanctuary is obviously, um, on the eastern side of the map, that's obviously where um, the seven outpost is, like the main seven outpost. Good POI, but not my favourite. Surprising enough, the Mythic MK is honestly so good, like the best Mythic ever. But my main problem with the Sanctuary is that I feel, I don't know why it feels hard for me to find the, the foundation. I don't know why it just felt hard. I remember when, when I was trying to land here, once trying to look for the boss, I just couldn't find for a while, and then when I actually fought him, he died. Another problem with my POI is that the boss feels a bit too hard to kill. Like I, like when I tried. Uh, not uh, not in the gameplay you see in the background, but when I was trying myself, I just couldn't. I was trying to get get them and like um, the other boss in in Kirby Cavern, which we'll get into the bit. But yeah, this one's so hard. This boss is literally so hard to kill. The foundation. The reason, but again, the reason why Sanctuary does get them four is because it's got the insane mythic MK7. If it was a little bit easier to kill, like not, I just think it could be a little bit better. But I find the boss is way too okay. Well, yes, it's not meant to be easy. It should be a little bit easier. It just feels a bit too hard for me. I don't know why, but maybe, maybe it's it, maybe it's just me or something. I guess. Like I said, maybe it's just me, or if it's actually really hard to kill. But yep, Sanctuary is getting number four. All right, number three, we have Sleepy Sound. So this might come as a shock to some people, but I think that Sleepy Sound is one of my favorite POIs. It has a lot of loot, like, it's so underrated, like, it's, again, it's on the northern side of the map. The reason I love this POI is just because it's got lots of loot, you've got, like, the house section, you've got the motel section, it gives me a lot of vibes of old POIs, it gives me vibes of, like, Craggy Cliffs, Retail Row, and, like, the motel into one location. You've got the houses section, you've got, like, the restaurant, the fish store restaurant, you've also got that, like, motel and stuff, and then the Retail Row stuff, it really just gives me vibes from all those POIs into one location. Honestly, love this POI. I hope it stays for a while. I don't want it gone for a chapter. I hope it stays for the whole chapter. I actually hope it stays. But if not, then fair enough. I'll have to probably rely on Condo Canyon if if they keep that and not um, Sleepy Sound. But yeah, I love Sleepy Sound. One of my favorite locations. And guess number three. Coming in at number two, we have um, uh, what is it going to be? It, it's going to be um, Covert Cavern. So COVID Cavern is like the most recent named POI to be added to Fortnite. And again, and the, this POI is just insane. This top two is, is just incredibly insane. Co um, COVID Cavern is really good. It gives me a lot of vibes of the Grotto, but I actually prefer it over the Grotto. Um, because I, I think there's more ways out. The Grotto didn't really have a ton of ways to get out. This actually feels a little bit easier to get out. And it's not right on the edge of the map as well, necessarily. Yeah, Kobe Cam's really good. Now the bot, now the mythic there isn't as good as the MK. I, I'm, I am gonna say that. I did even talk about it in my um, rank heavy weapons that the mythic stinger is really, really good. Um, but the MK is better. But the thing I like about Kobe Cavern more than the Sanctuary is it's just like it just seems more cool, and more unique. I guess. I mean, they're both are unique. I just prefer like the, the Kobe Cavern. Gives me a lot of vibes of the grotto. I love the grotto and the fact they brought it back, but made it Aya theme instead, which is, is which is really cool. Love this POI, but I do think Tilted is better in my opinion, which is number one. Tilted, I bet you right now will probably be gone next season. I could, they've already teased it, 
kinda. But Tilted, the reason why it's my favorite location, it's just the fact that so many people land there. There's a big loot. This is a good. This is a good example of a Fortnite location that has that has plenty of buildings. It's very popular, but probably has enough loot for everyone. And that's what I like about it. Plus, it's very central, so most of the time you're not gonna have to run very far to the zone. And even if you aren't in zone, you can you probably don't have to run that far. Which is good. Tilted is just honestly really, really good. I hope it stays next season, but who knows? Who knows? Alright, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Um, and before I actually end the video off here, I'm, I am going to say that um, I will make sure that with next season, in Chapter 3, Season 2, that I do the ranking every gun, new gun and new locations. I'll make sure that will come, so that that, that will be out not in like two weeks time, probably, most likely when the season comes out, but yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, and uh, yeah, that's right, peace out.